Oh, you're here. Happy New Year, by the way. Today I'm going to show you a real nice plugin that was uh, released by Native Instruments a few weeks ago and actually you could get it for free for a short period of time. It's a reverb called RAUM or R-A-U-M or whatever the name is supposed to be pronounced. It's a really interesting plugin because it's a reverb that it's, it's, it's designed to be used for uh, sound design purposes purposes and it's not uh, your regular uh, reverb plugin because you can also use it as a delay. Realm is a really simple to use plugin. It's just a reverb but the funny thing is that it has three different algorithms. So inside of Realm you're gonna see something in the likes of this and when you click in here you will be able to change the algorithm. Each of them have a different flavor so you can have a completely different result just by changing the algorithm that you're using. The, con the controls are quite straightforward and everything that you need to, to, to do it's right in front of you. One of the cool things about it is that you can change the way that the whole plugin is behaving. And now, if you click in here, you're gonna change you're you're gonna change it from a reverb to a delay and vice versa. So it's quite handy. Another thing is that you can synchronize the time of the repetition with your project in more than one way. So as you can see, I can change the time signature uh, as I see fit inside of the plugin, which is quite nice. It also has a freeze uh, feature which, as the name implies, as soon as you click on it, the sound, the, the reverberation is gonna, is gonna be held in that position, it's gonna keep sounding and for as long as you keep that button pressed. It also comes with this uh, built-in modulation section which allows you to modulate the sound of the reverb without uh, getting this in the way of the original sound source. Welcome back to Logic Prex. In front of us we got the prex that I used to write the song that you already heard. So let's get into it right now. The first thing that I'm going to show you is the arrangement window. In here you can see all of the different instruments that I used to create the song. And all of them are built-in instruments, with the only exception being the bass, they use bass that I'm going to show you later, and, and the other one that it's not a synthesizer is the drums, but that's it. So the first one is going to be this. This is the electric piano that comes built-in with Logic, and it's a really beautiful electric piano, it's a really nice rendition. And the next one is RetroSynth, the built-in Metro me, me, Melotron, the, the Monarch, which is uh, one of the different instruments that are parts of the native instrument, instrument library, but also it's loaded inside of Reactor. And the final instrument is going to be this RetroSynth once again. The funny thing is this. Out of all of the instruments, the ones that I use uh, that are RetroSynth, all of, both of them are using exactly the same preset. And the funny thing is also this. That preset being the original one, the default setting. The one that comes, that loads up automatically whenever you, you pop up one of those uh, uh, instances or one of those synthesizers into your project. So, now, what's the whole point of this video? Well, this, the plugin, round. It's a reverb, as I told you before but it has plenty of different neat ideas and the best part it's simple to use and most importantly it sounds awesome so i'm going to show you how it sounds the first instrument which is the, the road remember it sounds like this the tail is really beautiful and it blends nicely with the music now listen to it without the plugin round without the reverb <laughs> Oof. it's incredible believe me when i used it for first time i was blown away by that result now let me show you another instrument this one this is the first retrosynth instance as i told you we're using exactly the default setting nothing was uh, added or uh, modified during the sound design process of this song and this is the round instance that i'm using i'm gonna explain to you how the the how how i came up with with these sounds a little bit further into the video so this is how it sounds like. This is the uh, 
sound of retrosynth using round. It's ominous, powerful, uh, dramatic, and actually that's the reason why I call this channel T-1000, because it reminds me of, uh, of Terminator 2, the movie, one of my favorite movies, and also it's a really good movie, if you haven't seen it, go watch it, after this video, of course. This is how it sounds without this plugin, and prepare to be surprised. Remember, I am using the default setting of RetroSynth. Everything that happened was thanks to this plugin. So now, let's listen to the, to the Meltron. This is not going to be such a dramatic change because in this situation, we're using uh, Realm in a different way. We're using it as a kind of a quasi-delay, uh, uh, you will see. This is how it sounds like. Now let's talk about the bass. In this instance, I decided to use uh, Monarch as my bass line, sound source, and also I put a little bit of an arpeggiator, which is one of the MIDI instruments, MIDI, MIDI instruments, sorry, MIDI uh, plugins that comes with Logic, and then Round. But this time around, we're using a different algorithm. So here's how it sounds like with Round and then without. I love the way that it sounds, and in my opinion, it gives the bass um, a little bit more of dimension, dimension, and also it feels like it's there. Now, the last instrument is going to be the uh, melodic arpeggiator that was going on inside of the song, and this is exactly the same preset, the same, uh, exactly the same uh, default setting that I use to create the first instance, the first time that I used um, uh, RetroSynth inside of this project. So the only difference being that I inserted once again the arpeggiator to create the arpeggiation inside of the pattern, but also I put another instance of Realm using a completely different algorithm. So here it's how it sounds like, with and then without. As usual, it's up to us to come up with really good ideas and to come up with ways to creatively use our tools and plugins. And with this plugin, it's not an exception. I am a huge fan of Native Instruments. I have been using their stuff for many years, and actually, most of my hardware is uh, Native Instruments in, a, in the likes of Machine, and also the, the keyboard that I use is one of those uh, new uh, Native Instruments keyboards. I hope that you had a really nice end of the year, surrounded by your friends and family, and hope that you are already in your way to make this 2020 year to be the most successful one in your life. As usual, if you like this kind of content, the best way to support this channel is by subscribing, leaving us a like, or even better, if you have any question, make sure that you ask in the comment section below. And also, sharing this content is super important, and following us on social media, such as Instagram and or Facebook, that's also helpful. If you want to support even more, you can listen to our music on Apple Music or Spotify, and as usual, don't let anybody tell you what to dream about. Remember that I will see you when I see you.